Hello, hello, hello. Happy Thursday afternoon. Listen, it is my lucky day. I get to spend some time with one of my favorite people, Karen McCullough. Hey, Karen. Hey, everybody. Hi, Kim. <laughs> so listen, we have been promising or threatening to do this, and we just said today we're going to do it. So today we're visiting, talking about NSA Houston in our upcoming workshop this weekend. I'm super excited about it because Jennifer Darling is coming, and she's going to talk all about LinkedIn. But Karen, it's really more than that. It's also about kind of tweaking who you do, who you are, what you do, and who's your audience, which is what you know all about. Well, LinkedIn is it right now. I just read an article that said that LinkedIn is where Instagram was five years ago. So if you want to hop on LinkedIn right now, it's going to explode. There are like 675 million people on LinkedIn right now. So it's really a strategy which I think that Jennifer's going to teach us about. And it's a way for us to uh, take who we are and express ourselves and to get it out there. And the coolest thing about LinkedIn is that it, sh it tells you, it helps you share your articles. So anything that you've written, any blog posts, they're like your partner. So I'm into this one and I can't wait to hear what Jennifer has to say. Well, here's the thing too that I've learned doing some kind of work around LinkedIn with Jennifer. Um, it's a reminder, and we've seen this, if I Google Karen McCullough, your LinkedIn page is going to come up before your website, right? And so when you put stuff on LinkedIn, it connects to Yahoo, Bing, and Google. And so it's really a really huge, it's a big search engine and it's free. And so we need to learn how to use it better. But Karen, isn't the thing right now, um, especially in the current business climate we're in, especially for speakers, is letting people know who you are and what you do? Yeah, it's, and we have time to do that. <laughs> We have a lot of time on our hands. Well, not, not some of us do. Um, it's a time, I think, right now, now we're into 2021, right? And it's a time to look at what we're doing and to actually judge and see if it's if it's getting us any traction. And if not, let's let's just level up. You know, let's 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 and I think that putting some time into LinkedIn right now might be a great place to do that. You know, I remember thinking that ugh, you know, LinkedIn is not very cool. Um, it's kind of like for stuffy people, but let me tell you, LinkedIn's getting hot. And so I think it's a great place if you want to invest some time, you know, and reinvent yourself, start there. So LinkedIn is doing some things the other platforms are doing. They have LinkedIn stories, which I'm not totally sold on. They have, of course, video moves everything forward. They even have LinkedIn live, but I've talked to some people, some of the LinkedIn experts who say the, the LinkedIn live is not necessarily moving the needle as much. But videos and stories and posts, the engagement, those things matter. Um, I think also, for those of us who are not branding experts like you, LinkedIn helps us to do that. I mean, you know, you get it, but LinkedIn helps us in some of those areas because it kind of tells you, you should be doing these things. It does, and I think that being consistent, um, and I don't mean necessarily consistent on the content you put out, I mean, being consistent on your style and your messaging is really important. I think you should put different things out on LinkedIn, not all about business, but mm -hmm. articles that are interesting. Put up a put up, a, you know, something that's funny, um, a meme or whatever. But I think that we should be continually thinking about using our creativity on all of the platforms. But let's focus right now. I think we put so much energy into Instagram. Right. And into Facebook. Let's let's look at let's look at LinkedIn. And so if you live in the Houston area, well, really, if you live anywhere, because this right. is virtual and you're thinking about growing your LinkedIn presence, we have it. Come to NSA Houston. It's right down there. NSA Houston dot org. And come and listen to Jennifer Darling. Uh, she'll be speaking tomorrow. All right. She, well, no, Saturday. Oh, so, yeah. I forgot. Right. To say but soon. But soon. Um, and, and here's the thing, too. We know we're the National Speakers Association Houston chapter. And we have others in our organization that do, you know, training and consulting. But at the end of the day, it is about letting people know what you do and who you are. What is your expertise? Do you have a niche? Right? How can you, you know, as you always remind me, Karen, what is a problem that you solve? Right? How do you help right. people? And then right. when you figure that out, you can tell people that on LinkedIn. So when they're looking for you, they know how to find you. They know how to find you. And the cool thing about actually having our our, our session virtual um, is that you can come from anywhere and you can hang out with the, all the Houston speakers. Right. And I think that during this time, we've all been <clears throat> cooped up now. We're almost uh, going on, what, 10 months? Um, we all need to connect. 
and it's, and it's a great way to hear what other people are doing and to get motivated. I don't know about you, Kim, but I need to get motivated every day. And I do that through others. So coming to an NSA meeting, a virtual meeting, I think is a great way to do that. It's a great way to do it. And it's a great way to meet some other people, right? They can meet a Karen McCullough and say, okay, I may need some help with these things or be inspired by someone who has so much history in the business, right? Um, right. You've, you've, you've done it and you've been through these cycles before in terms of what did you do in 2008 when the economy fell out and people, were they still booking speakers a lot? I mean, there's this, there's something to say about being in a, in a, in we, a just about that. we have a, uh, we have a, a group that meets on Thursdays and we were just talking about what happened in 2008, 2009. And for me, all my work was canceled again, you know, back then and it was canceled. And it was the time that was when I met Crystal Washington. Mm -hmm. That was when I, mean, I started watching Gary Vaynerchuk and I learned about the power of social media and the Facebook and the Twitter. And so it was a time of rebuilding, starting new. And that's where we are right now. It's about looking at what new things can we do to up our game? Because if you're doing what you did three years ago, um, when the daylight comes, we're going to see a different world. So let's and get ready for it, right? Let's get ready for it. And because you met Crystal Washington and you guys started doing all this social presence stuff, then I met you, right? Yeah. <laughs> I met you. Yes, Kim. Kim is being modest. She was. Uh, she was a. She had a wonderful show on our, our NBC channel here in Houston. Wasn't that right, Kim? Was it yeah, NBC? Yeah. NBC. yeah. And she brought Crystal and I in to talk about. The Facebook back then. The so, Facebook. <laughs> it's about social media. But it was interesting to look back at those days and to realize that we were right in the beginning of something that was new that came out of something that ended. You know, it was the Great Recession. Work was gone. So what do we have to do? Let's learn social media. So we're in a place today where we have to get that enthusiasm and we have to get that excitement. And I think that right now LinkedIn might be the place to get 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 yourself propelled. So Karen, I'm going to put you on the spot just a little bit. Not really. So you have reinvented yourself a few times, right? Like we all have people. Ask, oh, can you reinvent yourself? Yeah, you just kind of tweak it and add stuff. But what have you learned that you could tell somebody about being able to still be relevant, right? Still be relevant. I've been thinking about this a lot. Um, what does it take? What does it take? When you've climbed up, you think you're really, you know, ready to kind of be on easy street and then it crumbles. And mm -hmm. yeah, it happened to me several times. And it's interesting because I think that's what's called life. And I was thinking today about it because I've been asked this a couple times recently. And for me, um, I, I never knew how much I needed motivation. So I need a pep talk. I need every day to get my engine going. And so I, I get that through now in, in the old days, it was through watching videos and it was through listening. And today I actually get it from speaking to people and being out there talking to other speakers and getting into conversations. Every day I talk to at least three, four people and hear about where, what they're doing. And it's interesting because I learned something from everyone. So I think you've got to build a community. You've got to build a community of believers and don't hang out with people that are, that are naysayers because it can bring right. you down. Right. Yeah. I remember when I wanted to become a speaker and I told some of my friends I was going to become a speaker. They went, what are you going to talk about you? And I realized that I had to kind of like leave, leave those people onto the side and move forward. And I think that it's who you hang out with, what you're listening to, what you're reading. How are you motivating yourself? How are you staying in the game? And what are you learning? Because I think we have to be cont continued lifelong learners. And I think a great place to, you know, find those communities in organizations like NSA Houston. Um, you can also find your community um, on LinkedIn. You can find your community wherever you can uh, build relationships. But here's the other thing. I, I think it's important that we remember these relationships, whether they're on LinkedIn or Instagram or wherever they may be, relationships should go both ways. You should be giving information as well as getting things. It shouldn't just be one way or about you. And I think those are the things, especially coming out of just this, this time we've been in, I think those are the things that are gonna resonate with um, clients, friends, customers, a whole lot better moving forward. I agree. And I, and I like that idea of being a giver, being a giver. And because uh, we know who the takers are, you can feel it, right? They kind of feel slighty. Right. But when you're a giver, right? You know, I mean, it's, 
I've been around the block. <laughs> but I think that um, the other thing that I did was I joined the NSA National Speakers Association. Um, I was the graduating class of 2000. We had a thing in Houston called the Mentee Program back then. Mm -hmm. And I went through it, now it's called the Academy. So I graduated from the Mentee Program in 2000. Wow, wow that was my first, my first year of speaking. But I use National Speakers Association as my graduate school. I'm always learning from them. And I believe that that was one of the beginnings, hanging out with the right people. Well, we want to make sure that we um, we invite you. Let me put it back on the screen to um, there it is. So next weekend is is our next professional workshop. We have uh, mastermind groups, and because all of our meetings are virtual, you can be anywhere and join us. So just go to the website. Here's the, the website address is on the screen. You can go there and you know, get all the information about not just this weekend, but who we are as an organization and what we have coming up. We would love to have you join us and just come visit, check out. And we'd like to learn from you as well as you come and spend time with us. I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. All right, everybody, we will see you soon. Karen and I promise we're going to do this more often, right? We're, we're going to do it more often. We're going to do it, but we're going to do it more often. Um, thank you guys for your comment and we hope to see you Saturday. Bye-bye. Bye.